Picture this, humanoid robots, some strutting in sneakers, others swinging boxing gloves, racing through Beijing streets against human runners in a scene straight out of a blockbuster. Welcome to the Beijing Ijuang Half Marathon 2025, where 21 robots turned a 21-kilometer course into a global spectacle that's got everyone talking. I'm your name, and today, we're diving deep into this electrifying clash of tech and tenacity. From a long-legged champion to bots that stumbled but stole hearts, this race is a wild ride. Stick with me to uncover the winners, the quirks, and what this means for our robotic future. On April 19, 2025, the Beijing Ijuang Half Marathon broke new ground as the world's first race to pit 21 humanoid robots against human runners. These weren't sleek, faceless machines think robots from four feet tall to towering six-footers, each with flair. One sported a bound-to-win headband, another rocked boxing gloves like it was ready to spar, and some even had custom running shoes. Companies like Droid UP and Noetics Robotics showcased their latest creations, but the star of the show was the Sky Project Ultra, nicknamed Twengong Ultra. With its lanky legs and an algorithm that mimics human running patterns, it outpaced every other robot, crossing the finish line as the mechanical MVP. Humans still smoked the bots, but the robot's effort was a showstopper. Let's break down these robotic races. The Tiangong Ultra was a beast, designed with a human-like gait that let it stride smoothly over the 21-kilometer course. Its secret source? An advanced algorithm that analyzes and replicates human movement, making it look eerily natural. The other 20 robots were a colorful bunch some barely 120 cm tall, others stretching to 1.8 meters. One tiny bot wobbled adorably, while another's boxing gloves bounced with every step, earning cheers from the crowd. But the race wasn't all glamour. Several robots hit power walls, requiring mid-race battery swaps, and a few needed human handlers to nudge them past the finish line. Despite the hiccups, their ability to navigate a real-world course dodging obstacles and keeping pace was a testament to how far humanoid tech has come. And let's not forget the style points, that bound to win headband? Pure gold. So, what's the bigger story here? China's betting big on humanoid robotics, and this marathon was a bold flex of their ambitions. The countries poured billions into AI and robotics, aiming to dominate a market that could reshape industries. Picture robots assembling cars, delivering packages, or even competing in the Olympics someday. The Ijuang race showed off robots tackling dynamic environments, a huge leap from factory-bound machines. Organizers called it a milestone, and the crowd's energy backed that up thousands cheered as bots shuffled through Beijing's streets. But not everyone's convinced this is revolutionary. Alan Fern, an AI expert from Oregon State, argues the tech's been around for years, citing similar algorithms from a decade ago. Is this a quantum leap or just China hyping up incremental gains? I'm curious what you think drop your hot takes in the comments. This race wasn't just about who crossed the finish line first it was a glimpse into a future where robots might run, work, and live alongside us. The Tiangong Ultra and its quirky competitors proved that humanoid robots are more than lab experiments, they're ready to step into the real world, boxing gloves and all. Smash that like button, subscribe the channel AI Insights, and hit the bell for more stories from the edge of tech. Got a futuristic topic you want me to tackle next? Let me know below. Until then, keep chasing the future I'll see you in the next video.